What's up guys, Big D Wiz here OldSchoolStereo.com Today we're going to talk about the tale of two beasts. We have one that is rough. I mean it is rough. I don't know if you can tell by the video. A little bit of rust there. Scratches and nicks everywhere. Then we have one it's not mint, but it's not too far from it. I'll give it probably eight and a half, nine out of ten. Almost perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to compare the two, um, mainly to show uh, my, my buddy that works on the amps what the one is missing, just to see if he can actually repair it. So let's do an overview and see what they're all about. And we'll start off here with the mint copy. As you can see, everything looks good. The silk screen, everything looks great. Now, here is the one that's not so great. As you can see, it's missing the RCA jacks, and we'll be able to see better once we open it up. And it's missing the buttons there for the uh, EQ and the mono, which I know is not a huge deal because you can still push it in. Uh, so anyway, let's check the other side. All right, as you can see, the one here that's all beat up, it has an HCCA end plate, which is not a huge deal, really. Uh, it's missing the uh, factory screws there, an aftermarket one. And it's actually missing the, um, the correct um, bolts that hold down the plus and minus in there. Again, you'll see that when I show the guts. And here's what it should look like silk screen and the factory molex plug intact ready for the harness so let me uh, open them up now we'll show you the difference between the guts all right so here we go we can see the uh, gut shots of both amplifiers the one on the bottom again is the one it's in rough shape it's actually missing some components so I'm going to try to point out the ones at least that I know that it's missing and uh, there's probably some other ones as well but anyway right off the bat first thing you'll notice is RCA jacks are gone they're not there and I'll show you the difference here this is the one here's where the RCA's are soldered onto the board as you can see here, it just has some empty gaping holes. And just looking through, trying to compare the two, it looks like the caps are all there. They are different color, but they are, I guess they're the same brand. These are the, the Nikonons, or however you say that. This is on the, the nice amp. It's got those and the beat up one. I can't tell. Let's see, it doesn't have a brand on these. So I don't think these are the Nikonons. And if I'm butchering that name, I apologize. So, I mean, just overall the, the cleanliness, this one's much more dirty. It wasn't taken good care of at all and uh just gonna go over it real slow and see if there's anything else okay there's one thing i can see here just above this fuse block there's a capacitor which is not here and i can see where it should be right there that capacitor is missing so that would have to be replaced as you can see somebody did this up here don't you just love aftermarket stuff? Didn't even try to get close to the originals. That's what the original should look like. And this is go to your hardware store and don't try to get anything anywhere near what it should be. And I re realize replacing the harness is not a huge deal, but this one's just so much cleaner inside. But that's the main things I can see. Are the RCAs are missing that are there and other than some of the components being bent on this rough one which are not bent there 
and that one capacitor missing I don't see anything else missing and obviously I can get new uh, bolts for here and make that look better so real quick I'm just gonna do a quick pan of this one that's rough and try to do it kind of slow So maybe somebody will catch something that I am missing Try to do a couple of different angles. Ooh, it's a flyby. It's a flyby night amp. It is night and I am flying by, so it's a flyby night amp. Okay, I'll stop. My humor is not with it tonight. And here's the clean one. This is just a thing of beauty. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you mount on your wall for art, at least some of us do, that like amplifiers and audio equipment. It's beautiful. Alrighty, so I'll stop rambling. Just wanted to kind of show the tale of two beasts here. And hopefully this bottom one can be repaired, because if it can be, I'll get it polished up, get all that finish removed and shine it up some and maybe throw it in the car and use it. Big D Wiz signing off. See you next time. I'm out of here.